Hello, I'm Sean Kajayan and I'd like to talk to you today about the SBA loan, Paycheck Protection Program, and the pitfalls that we see in the application in the program, and especially in the forgiveness stage. Let's start backwards using the application. Uh, the application itself states that the SBA may refer the information to appropriate agencies, whether federal, state, or local, charged with prosecution and, and enforcement. This is important to keep in mind because the federal government, of course, is not in the business of just giving away money. And especially when the program ends and this coronavirus is subdued, they will begin enforcement and investigation and to see if people have, well, defrauded the government. And there are agencies that their entire purpose is to ferret out fraud and prosecute people. And so when, you have fill, when you're filling out the application, it's important to keep these things in mind, including what it is that you've certified in your application. Some of the things that we've seen when we look at the application that we think are important to keep in mind are, to begin with, you have certified that you will use the proceeds only for business-related purposes. And further, that you've certified that the current economic certainty makes this loan request necessary to support the ongoing operations of the applicant. And so what does that mean? What would a prosecutor or investigator think it means that you have certified that the loan proceeds were necessary? What if you have $100,000 in your bank account and your employees are still employed and you've made payroll? Are these funds, in fact, were they, in fact, necessary? Something important to keep in mind. And so something for you to discuss with your CPA before you just jump in into making this application and certifying these things. Another item that we thought was interesting and to keep in mind is that the funds will be used to retain workers, maintain payroll, make mortgage payments, make lease payments, make utility payments. This is interesting because what if the during that eight week period you use the funds that were already in your bank account to make those payments and then you receive the loan proceeds? Have you in fact used these loan proceeds to make those payments or didn't you use the funds that were already in your account? What would an investigator think that was in charge of recouping the money for the government when they review your bank records? And in fact, the applicant will provide the lender documentation that you've used the money to pay mortgage interest payments, covered rent payments. Bank records are the property of the bank. That's the United States Supreme Court has held that. They are not your records. When you provide records to a third party, you cannot assume that the third party will keep those records confidential. Again, this program and your certification is that you will provide the documentation and you will use these proceeds only in the way that you've certified that you'll use them. We hope you keep all these pitfalls and potential pitfalls in mind and if you ever have any legal troubles including with this program or any other accusations against you please feel free to give us a call. Thank you.